Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I've got a new series for you guys. This is a short shareable series, and I just get right to the science and right to the practicality. So on this video, I'm gonna show you the three fasts that you should be doing if you wanna heal from an autoimmune condition. I'm gonna bring you the science and show you what the science is showing us on fasting and autoimmunity. And then I'm gonna walk through the three fasts that you can be doing so that whether you have RA, lupus, type one diabetes, um, Hashimoto's, these are the three fasts you're gonna wanna do. It's a short shareable, so I, let me know if you like the style. And as always, subscribe so you get these videos and share it out if you resonate with it. Together we can change the world. Okay, you guys, let's talk about autoimmunity and fasting. What is the science showing us and which fasts are best for the majority of autoimmune conditions? So I dove into the science and I discovered that there are three fasts that science is showing us that will help with the majority of autoimmune conditions. So let's start off with this thought. What is happening in an autoimmune condition? And those of you that have an autoimmune condition, whether it's Hashimoto's or RA or lupus or type one diabetes, you, are, you probably already know this, but there are two major uh, key components to most autoimmune conditions. One is that you have a mixed up immune system. It's usually hyperactive or it's not able to turn itself off. We talk a lot about a cytokine storm that happens with like RA where you get all this inflammation in a joint and that's what leads to the pain. Well, that's an immune system that is mixed up. It doesn't know when to turn on. It doesn't know when to turn off. The other thing is the body is attacking itself for a reason. Usually there's an infection or there's a toxic reason in there. So just overall understand that the immune system is mixed up and it's going after something, okay? Second thing I wanna talk about are what are the fasts that we know? And I'm gonna post the article here. It is Walter Longo's studies where he showed that there were actually in his study and in this article I'm gonna, I'm gonna post in here, he showed that there were two fasts that helped with, and he specifically did it on type one diabetics and he did it on RA. And the two fasts was one, you guys know the, the fast mimicking diet. That it, we've talked a lot about that here on my channel. Fast mimicking diet, Walter Longo studied over a three month period. If you followed the fast mimicking diet for five days in a row, that he saw that people with type one diabetics actually had uh, cells in the pancreas that would regrow and start to regenerate. So pretty cool. Best way to follow the fast mimicking diet is to use his product called Prolon. It's available. If you just put Prolon in the comments, we'll send you a link to it. If I was a type one diabetic and I wanted to tap into his research, I would just follow his protocol and I would do it five days a month and I would do it three months in a row. That would be the most scientific way to do it based off of his research. Okay. Second fast, and this is one we don't talk about a lot on, on this channel, and I dove into his study and he actually brings this up, but I don't know why nobody's talking about this. He says that the second way to heal an autoimmune condition, specifically RA, is to do periodic fasting. And his definition of periodic fasting is two days or longer. So we know about his studies on the three-day fast, but we don't hear a lot about his studies on the two-day fast. So the second fast I would do, and again, this one was done on RA. The second one I would do would be how can you do 48 hours of fasting? Now, I know what a lot of you guys are going to ask me is like, well, how often should I do that? The re his research didn't show that, but I will tell you what I see in my clinic is that people with really severe autoimmune conditions, Hashimoto's, RA, lupus, very active autoimmune issues, do really well with a 48-hour fast once a week. Whereas the fast mimicking diet, that's really awesome, five days in a row, once a month. So now, if you're trying to heal an autoimmune situation, you could do once a month the fast mimicking diet using Prolon, and the second month you could use, or the, uh, the, within that month, every week, you could be doing a 48-hour water fast. So that would be a really smart approach. Okay, 
third fast that I want to talk about, and this is based off of the, the, what we know about the intestinal stem cells in, in your gut. A 24 hour fast will reboot those intestinal stem cells. So getting some 24 hours, not 22, but 24 hours, getting that in there at least, I mean, if you're doing the 48, you're obviously getting the 24 in there, but you want to on a regular basis be rebooting those intestinal stem cells to help balance out your immune system. Okay, so that's the science. Three fasts, fast mimicking diet, the 48 hour fast and the 24 hour fast. How you put that together is up to you, but if I wanted to heal an immune, an autoimmune condition, looking at the science, I would tap into those three fasts. Okay, so if you have an autoimmune condition, let me know, to give me feedback, which one of those three fasts seem to benefit you the most. That way our community knows. And if you wanna understand how to cycle that these fasts, this is what we're doing in the Reset Academy. So just put Reset Academy in your comments and we'll invite you in. We've got a group of people there that we're doing these resets with all this fasting variation to help you discover which fast is best for you. So just put Reset Academy in the notes and in your comments and we'll make sure you get a link to that. But I, this is awesome research and I want you guys to get it. So give me feedback. Let me know which fast is working for your autoimmune condition.